Autism. Some people think it just means you're stupid. And they'll use it as an insult. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh. Hi there. What's your name? Do you want to play? This young boy is called Tom, and he has autism. But this girl doesn't know that. Okay, don't worry. I'll catch you later. Now let's stop for a moment and revisit what's just happened. When we speak, we know what we want to say, and the brain turns your thoughts into speech. Do you want to play? But for our friend Tom here, the process is different. You'll notice that Tom's brain can still process the information; he just can't communicate in the same way. But surely that's a good thing. Differences are what make us special. Mozart was reported to have autism. He struggled with social interactions, but still played some pretty damn good music before European royalty. As a child, Albert Einstein struggled with language and had difficulty learning at school. Fast forward a few years, he's speaking out on political issues and winning a Nobel Prize for his services to theoretical physics. Sir Isaac Newton's social skills were limited, but we still have him to thank for one important discovery. Gravity. It just goes to show, you can do whatever you set your mind to. People with autism often have a set routine. Tom seems to feel safer that way. He always plans his daily routines very carefully. Tom's routine is a bit like the railways in Japan, where everything is planned to the second, and if one train is late, everyone is angry and confused. <coughs> Tom had a carer who regularly took him for fun days out. Tom loved having fun days out and about. Tom's carer did his best to help find Tom's voice. Hey Tom, what's this? This one's a, a drink. Yes, good. And this one's an ice cream. Very good. Short, simple words and phrases were no trouble at all for young Tom. And now can you say, "Could I have an ice cream, please?" Ice cream, please. <laughs> That's not so easy. That one. Well, don't worry. It's okay. Trying to understand Tom was like learning a whole new language. Lovely weather, isn't it? Quah! Without being able to speak beyond a few very plain, simple words, how could people understand what Tom was thinking? Besides his carer, Tom's cat was his other close friend. Tom often wondered how it was possible that, although neither of them could speak fluently to one another, Tom felt like they didn't need to. They still understood each other perfectly without words. Oh, this is really not my day. Things couldn't get any worse.
Huh? Oh, sorry, Tom. Not now. You, you wouldn't understand. Tom never did understand why his care was so sad that day. What he did understand was that his carer was sad, so he wanted to cheer him up, and he did so. Oh. Hi there. Do you want to play? Come on. Mm-hmm. 